Hey y'all, this is Ben Roberts at Rock the Registry reminding you to think like a test maker, not a test taker. I invite you to like and subscribe. I've got some exciting news for you today about a free book offer, actually a couple of free book offers, um, as well as some information about the AP Oblique shoulder. So first off, just the free book offers. Um, my good friend Michael Angel's offering this uh, intro book to his uh, Plague series called uh, The Plague Walker. Highly recommend it, a lot of fun, a medical thriller. You'll learn a little bit about uh, epidemiology. And then I am offering uh, my first volume of Rock the Registry. It will be available for free next um, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. So I'll be posting some more information. If you want more information about uh, free book deals and things like that, please uh, subscribe to the newsletter. There'll be some information about that below as well. So let's talk about the AP Oblique. Uh, view of the shoulder, particularly the glenoid cavity, sometimes called the Gracie or Grashy view, depending on who you're talking to. And as always, a shout out to Wiki Radiography for providing us some free pictures. Um, so this is a good AP oblique uh, shoulder view, um, but I want to point out a couple of things. There was some mislabeled anatomy here that I've covered with a blocker, um, but I've also included a cor correctly labeled piece of anatomy here. So there's two lines at the bottom that are crossing, um, and the thicker line is what we would call the anatomic neck of the humerus, and then that thinner line that's more horizontal in nature with a black blocker on its uh, left aspect, that is the uh, patient's left aspect, that is the uh, beginning of the surgical neck of the humerus. I've also indicated the greater, greater tubercle. Um, but the main thing that we're focused on for this view is the glenoid cavity, sometimes referred to as the glenohumeral joint. Uh, it could also be referred to as the, uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank right just for a second, but the, uh, basically the articulation point between the humerus and the scapula. So, oh, that was it, scapulohumeral joint. All of those things are fairly interchangeable. Um, in order to obtain this view, uh, there's a couple of things that we need to consider. First, uh, the patient should be in an RPO or LPO position. So for this view here, patient's left, the patient's in a, a left posterior oblique, and they're oblique about 35 to 45 degrees. Um, we want, we can do this uh, image either supine or upright, and frequently this uh, is done along with a shoulder arthrogram. And so as the physician's inserting the needle into the joint space, they will uh, ask the patient to be obliqued in order to better visualize the place of insertion for the needle. As always, we wanna be centered on the anatomy of interest. And in this case, it is that glenoid cavity of the scapula. And so we wanna be centered right there. Um, it is um, fairly palpable, at least the greater tubercle is fairly palpable, and if we move about an inch uh, medial from the greater tubercle, um, we should be able to locate that joint space. And then finally, we want to place the palm of the patient's hand on their abdomen. This will allow for proper rotation of the humerus such that we're able to see the greater tubercle more or less in profile. So hopefully that was helpful. And don't forget to check out the links below for information on Michael Angel's The Plague Walker. Um, definitely you wanna sign up for my newsletter so that you get reminders about free book deals that I'm offering as well. And, and as always, please comment, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate your comments. It's one of the main reasons I continue to do these videos is hearing from you what you need to learn. All right, bye.